Thank you all so much and good morning to everyone. My name is Henry Simons. I am the Assistant City Manager of Operations for the City of Columbia. And we would like to welcome you and thank you so much uh, for your presence um, on today as we celebrate the grand opening and ribbon cutting of the Saluda River Walk, also known as the Saluda River Greenway. Thank you to our mayor, Steve Benjamin, who sends his regards this morning. He is currently hosting the United States Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, um, Marcia Fudge, who is visiting from Washington, D.C., also Congressman Clyburn, uh, as they highlight the importance of vaccinations uh, and discuss housing-related issues here in downtown Columbia. Um, this project, of course, is near and dear to his heart, so don't be surprised if you see him prior to the ending of this program. Um, thank you to Councilman Howard Duvall. Thank you to Councilman Will Brennan, who uh, is present with us on today, and all of our council members collectively present. I know Councilwoman Devine is on her way. Also want to acknowledge our chair uh, of the Richland County Council, Chairman Paul Livingston, who is with us today, and also the uh, Allison Teratio and other council members, county council members that are present with us today. Thank you so much for, for being here. I would also, also like to acknowledge our special guest today, our Prisma Health Executive Management Team, who is with us. Thank you all so much for your all's presence uh, on today. Also want to acknowledge um, our city manager, Teresa Wilson, uh, who will be joining us here in, in just a moment for her continued guidance and leadership um, on parks and rec recreation initiatives. Um, also want to acknowledge Chief Holbrook and Deputy Chief Meron Kelly, who are with us today. Thank you all so much for your support and presence on today. Uh, today, is, today is a great day. Uh, it's a great day uh, for the City of Columbia and all the agencies represented collectively. Uh, the Saluda River, River Walk is a game changer. Um, the new amenity has already attracted citizens from all over this state uh, and beyond. As most of you are aware, this project has been in the making for several, several years, and today marks a day that we celebrate the body of work that you see uh, behind me. Uh, the Saluda River, River Walk offers about three miles of paved walkway uh, or boardwalk along the Saluda, Saluda River, offering citizens an experience uh, of some amazing views to include uh, fishing and floating, walking, running, biking, offering just a chance to rest, relax, and enjoy the outdoors. Uh, this will be one of the premier destinations uh, for the city for years to come. Again, thank you so much uh, for your presence uh, on today. Um, now at this time, I'm gonna ask Councilman Howard Duvall to come forth and provide some remarks and we'll follow the program as the agenda is outlined. So we'll have Councilman Duvall followed by Chairman Paul Livingston, Chairman John McArthur of the River Alliance, and I will come back with some specific acknowledgements uh, at that time and we will cut a ribbon. All right, Councilman Duvall. Thank you, Henry. This is a, a great day for the Midlands of South Carolina. And many of you were here four years and 40 days ago when we stood right down the hill and decided that we were gonna build this thing. There was a bald eagle as John MacArthur was speaking, soaring above the river. And I told Henry when he said he wanted me to have some remarks, I said, I will speak if you will get that bald eagle to come back and be in the background. So I'm sure it's gonna appear before I finish my remarks here. I'll try to pinch it a little bit for our good mayor, Steve Benjamin. This is a Midlands project. It is not a city of Columbia project. It is not a R Richland County project. It is a Midlands project. We talk all the time about how when the Midlands gets together and wants to do something, if we all cooperate with each other, there's nothing we can't do. And this is one great example of the cooperation of all the people in the Midlands on creating something that will be a game changer for the Midlands as far as outdoor activity is concerned. 
I'm very excited about how we have put this thing together. I also would like to thank uh, the River Alliance and many of the board members are here today that were here four years ago. Uh, Mike Dawson has spent 25, 30 years, has it been Mike? It seems like a hundred. Seems like a hundred, but it's, it's been about 25, I believe, uh, putting this, this uh, network of great projects together that will be the uh, river walk and the walks through Casey and West Columbia and all is be one of the largest connected walk and bat bike pathways in the United States and has already gotten recognition and awards for being that. John MacArthur has given us great leadership as chairman of the board. Uh, very few board meetings, which is great, uh, but he gets things done and, and we work all together. Uh, this has been a, a county penny project, and I want to thank uh, my council member, Allison Teresio. Uh, a lot of times we had to tag team because we were working with county officials, we were working with municipal, uh, municipal officials, and Allison was always willing to tag team with me on the county side to, to push and pull and finally get the results that we needed to move the project along. I also want to thank my city manager, I, oh, there she is. I saw her walking up there and then she disappeared. Uh, Teresa Wilson, uh, she has put up with a lot of emails and pushing and pulling and uh, has, has guided us through this project to get this thing done. Uh, one of the things I want to make a shout out for was the parking lot. The parking lot that you see right here is the parking lot that came with the penny. Uh, the parking lot that's over twice the size, a little bit further down the road, 100 yards down the road, is 80 plus parking spots that were done by uh, the City of Columbia and its departments. I, I wanted to mention the departments, but when I started trying to think of them, all of them were taking part in getting that parking lot uh, done on the other side. So we have 80, 80 more plus uh, parking spots because on the weekends already, these parking spaces are filled up. So a big shout out to Teresa Wilson, her management team, which I think is the best in the South Carolina and probably best in the United States, gets things done when we want to get things done. I also want to give a shout out for the Boyd Foundation. We've got George Bailey with us here this morning. Uh, their interest in and funding of the projects that go along with this river wall has been essential and it's not stopping now. Uh, Susan Boyd and George and the foundation are very interested in, in completing this project. Uh, the next opening that we will have will be Boyd Island, which if you haven't been there yet, is a very special place in the Midlands of South Carolina. It's a unique place. And thanks to the Boyd Foundation, we have been able to really do it right and to get the amenities on there that will be an attraction for uh, years and years to come. It, it's, it's a very unique spot where you can stand at the confluence of the Saluda and the Broad and look up and see the Capitol Dome in the state of South Carolina. There's no other site like that that I can think of in the United States. So thank you to the Boyd Foundation. The last part of my remarks is what I think is going to be the linchpin of all of these systems that have been built over the last 25 years. And that's crossing the Broad River and connecting to the Columbia Canal River Walk that's already over there, three and a half miles of the Canal Walk. Um, here again, the Boyd Foundation has stepped up, given us a challenge grant, and I think we're gonna be able to accept that. I'm sure my cohorts from the county are gonna find their part. Mm -hmm. The city's going to find its part, and we're going to get that things done. I've got two and a half years left, and I want to be at the, the grand opening of the bridge that goes across the broad, because once you get that bridge in, you will be able to go from any of the nice hotels that are being developed in the vista of the city of Columbia, take a tram across the broad river, come down to visit uh, Tommy and the zoo, or bring your bicycle and ride it, and you can go all the way up to the Lexington Hospital, and I'm sure that the people in Lexington County are gonna soon find the resources to move this uh, trail all the way up to 
the Lake Murray uh, Highway 6 dam. So that's our, cha that's our challenge. Uh, but I think the next part of getting that bridge across the broad will be the connecting linchpin that puts it all together. And I'm so proud to have been a part of the construction and hopefully the use of this river water. And I'd like to introduce the chairman of Richland County Council who has been very instrumental in helping us, Mr. Paul Livingston. Thank you and, and, and good morning. I think it's still morning, yes. <laughs> what a great day for Richland County, citizens, citizens, citizens of the city of Columbia, Lexington County, and the Midlands in general. Um, and I want to first just thank you for this opportunity for me to bring remarks on behalf of Richland County Council. You know, um, uh, this has been a very in involved and long, arduous, challenging, uh, rugged journey getting to this particular point. Um, and I'm clean aware of what that included, having been um, involved with the River Alliance since its inception. Um, you know, um, Howard talked about years engaged in this. Um, Mike and I can talk about decades. <laughs> Mike Dawson, you are truly the glue, the gorilla glue, <laughs> that truly got us to this particular point. Now, um, you know, there's this old adage that says, you know, um, um, you know, you know, sound like, you know, a bulldog, you know, it's like a bulldog in a, you know, in a channel, um, uh, in a, um, shop. Well, um, you know, that's not quite appropriate for Mike. Mike is like a bulldog in a channel shop, you know. Um, <laughs> He, you know, he's going to build until you get it, until you truly get it done. Um, you know, um, uh, there are several things that are expected of public servants, but most importantly, I think, it's those things that directly impact our true quality of life. And I can assure you, if you scroll down the river walk and you don't think it impacts your mental and physical well-being, and I suggest you sign up for the, you know, Dr. Phil show or Dr. Oz or some of them, whomever, you know, because it is that. And I want to say special thanks um, to my colleagues. Uh, Mr. Rachel is here, who's worked close with the Alliance and liaison to the, to the Alliance. Um, you know, the commitment from the city of Columbia, the hard work, with the Penny program, and those who work with that particular program, uh, private supporters, the board family, and, and many, many others. We all made this possible, you know, staff members, um, board members, volunteers, supporters, and so forth. Um, this could not have happened without everybody working together. We made this, as, as a county council, a high priority with our penny program, and that is one of the reasons why we're here today. Now, one of our issues long ago as we started this process was we needed some funding, and, and Mike was not going to let us forget that. Um, so he reminded me every day that um, one of the highest priorities of the Penny Project got to be and must be the Riverwalk. I said, oh, Mike, okay, we'll see what we can do about that. Um, and, you know, I thought, you know, I'd be okay for a little while, but that didn't last very long at all. <laughs> so, Mike, I just really want to personally thank you for your effort in making this happen. I mean, um, I'm not sure many folks are aware of the due diligence and what you've really done to make this possible. And again, thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, my name's John MacArthur. I'm a lawyer by trade, but uh, I've spent a, about the last 15 years on the River Alliance Board and many as chair. Uh, I want to correct or give you my impression of the uh, uh, ceremony before we started Riverwalk, where we broke ground. While Howard was looking this way and seeing eagles, I was looking that way in the middle of our remarks, a train went by <laughs> and nobody could hear any of my remarks, which I think they all appreciated. Um, and, and uh, between Howard and Paul, they've stolen many of my remarks, so I'll keep mine brief. I uh, basically need to thank a lot of people. Um, it is my pleasure to represent the River Alliance today. Uh, this day has been long hoped for and dreamed about. The Saluda Greenway has been a part of the plan for the Three Rivers Greenway for more than 20 years. And the, the circumstances finally came together to make it happen. And we're so appreciative that we're here today. Uh, a little bit about the Three Rivers Alliance for those who don't know anything about it. I think most of you do. But uh, we were formed in 1994, and Mike was hired as a, 
original director about 1995 or 1996 to work for both counties, Richland and Lexington County, and three cities, Columbia, Casey, and West Columbia, to plan the river walks. And so our function, instead of having one person from each of those governments out there trying to figure out what to do, that we would do it collectively and, and uh, coordinate with each other. So what we've done over that last 25 years is we've identified places where building a river walk was feasible. And Mike has headed all of this up. There are places where it's not feasible because there are a bunch of tiny residential lots and you're not going to get easements from all of them. But where you can find land that's in the floodplain that's not otherwise developable and you can find big property owners instead of a bunch of small parcels and get easements from those folks, you can build a river walk. So we mapped out the locations of the river walks and then we talked to the owners and many generously gave us easements to build the river walk, and, and I'll mention a few of them in a second. Um, in addition to that, we worked with land planners and others on the um, planning of the river walk, the initial permits, you have to get wetlands permits, you're in the navigable water sometimes, you have to get federal permits. When you're in the FERC um, Dominion project lines, you have to get permission from them. Mike coordinated all of that. Our mission is to have shovel-ready projects so when a government can figure out the method and we will, we will try to help them with that in terms of ideas, but when they can fit, find a, the funding for a project, we're ready to go. And that's what happened with this project. It was ready to go before the penny was passed. And so it made it easy to put it in the penny projects and it made it the first significant long trail to be uh, created by the penny tax. Um, I want to stop for a second and recognize our board members, the River Alliance. Our past chairman, Jim Smith, is here. Uh, a number of our current and former board members are here. So y'all just raise your hand just to let everybody know who we have. And that includes uh, Allison and Paul and Howard and Mayor Benjamin and in the, and in the past, Tamika and, and numerous other county and city officials as well as those on the other side of the river. Uh, so how did we get here? First, we obtained easements from the, from the owners, then SCNG, David Jordan, who owns about a mile of riverfront up here, um, the Gardner family and the Riverbank Zoo all donated these easements. We have one small payment to one of them. But they all donated these easements so that we would have the right to put the river walk here. But for that, we would not have a river walk. I want to thank Richland County for coordinating with us and the city and getting this in the penny programs that were approved and voted on by the voters. Uh, that was essential to this. I want to thank all the, all the council members, particularly Paul and Allison. I want to thank the county manager and, and all those on the county staff who worked on this for four years to get this bill. Um, I want to thank the city. Not only is it a financial commitment to build a river walk, it's a financial commitment to pay to own and operate and secure it. That takes several city staff members full time out here doing that. And the city committed on the front end that they would do that. That was essential to the county putting it in the penny program. It was essential to these landowners granting the easements. So thank you to the mayor, to the council members, uh, to the city staff. And I'm one of those people who was emailing and bugging Teresa and I'm sure she got very tired of it, but thank you, Teresa, because this is here because of you and your staff. So, uh, so you've already mentioned, you took my, my words, because my words were, Mike is a bulldog. Uh, he is a bulldog. And uh, I'm sure while they help pay his salary, that the various governments sometimes wish they didn't. But that's what it takes to get things done. You know, you've got people who are just pulled in all kind of different directions in, in the city and county governments. Having one person whose job is to plan the river walks and implement them is why it's gotten done on both sides of the river. None of the river walk on either side of the river would be here but for Mike Dawson. So let's just stop and give him a hand. A thanks again to the Boyd Foundation. What a wonderful partner you are. George Bailey's here, who's the chair of the Boyd Foundation. The late Donnie Boyd and, and Mrs. Susan Boyd, who's still with us, uh, have been, and others on their board have been instrumental and very cooperative. And their generosity not only has enabled Boyd Sanctuary to be built, uh, but has also um, 
instrumental in our ability to do the next phase, which is to go up the brawl, over the brawl, connect to the canal. When we connect that canal, you can walk from right here to the riverfront park where the waterworks are. And we're also working with, with the city and others on getting a bridge or some access near the State Museum. John McCabe is on our board. He's a, a chair of the State Museum board to get across the canal once it's repaired at the, at the State Museum. That would allow you to walk from Cobal Plaza to where we stand today and beyond. So those are great things in the future and we're working hard on those and those are gonna be a reality. And thank you everybody for working on those. I wanna thank our design team uh, for the Boy, for Boyd uh, Island, uh, Charles Howell, who's done a terrific job of planning that. And if you walk through there, you'll see these tables and resting areas that are works of art. And Charles coordinated that and worked with a talented sculptor to, to make those special areas on Boyd Island. I want to thank the design team for the River Alliance, who has been doing this for probably 20 years. Uh, Oz Nagler, who's a a renowned land planner, Ken Simmons, a land planner, and John Watkins, in addition to Mike, in addition to Mike's assistant, Sheila Starkey, who is here. Thank you for all you've done. So, I think I've covered everything. Thank you again for being here. This is such a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, John. I think you've covered all of my remarks in terms of acknowledgments, but just, just in summary, again, um, Many thanks to our mayor, uh, Steve Benjamin, all of our city council members present uh, and collectively, our Richland County Council present and collectively, uh, city of Columbia and uh, Richland County staff who participated over the years and, and made this possible. Again, the River Alliance Board of Directors, of course led by Mr. John MacArthur, who you just heard from. Again, the River Alliance CEO, Mike Dawson, who's been named the Bulldog for the event. Thank you again, uh, Mike, for your leadership. And just, just again, a special thanks to the, the Boyd Foundation, uh, specifically Susan and Donnie Boyd, for creating a foundation that has blessed so many people uh, in the community. Uh, we are forever grateful for your generosity. And I, I, Mike Dawson told me that Susan may be listening uh, thank you so much, Susan, for your generosity and your vision. Uh, it means a lot to us. It means a lot to our uh, community. So as Councilman Duvall has mentioned, we look forward to another grand opening of the Boyd Island Sanctuary. Isn't that what it's called, Mike Dawson? The Boyd Island Sanctuary. It is a beautiful place, and we look forward to all of our citizens enjoying, enjoying Boyd Island again. Thank you, George Bailey, President of the Boyd Foundation, for your continuous leadership and support of the Boyd Island Project, amongst other amazing projects that you've been a part of uh, representing the uh, actual foundation. To the Riverbank Zoo uh, for your support and leadership. Tommy Stringfellow for your support. Thank you uh, so much. Dominion Energy, the Department of Transportation, all the contractors that were involved in this process over the years. Thank you so much. Our city. Uh, Columbia Parks and Recreation team for their amazing work. Our park rangers, Karen Crucifix, who leads our park rangers. Just, just a collective effort and, and to get us to this place. Again, as I made these comments in the beginning, uh, Miss uh, Councilwoman Devine, who is now with us, um, thank you so much for being here. Also, our city manager, again, for your leadership and, and guidance and just giving us um, direction and keeping things moving. Um, we are, we are forever grateful for this moment and also want to acknowledge our county administrator, Leonardo Brown, that's up near the restrooms in the shade there. Thank you so much, sir. I see you. Uh, also, Assistant Administrator John, Dr. Don, Dr. John Thompson, who's also with us. Thank you so much. I see the city of Columbia mask you're wearing. Thank you so much for representing. Uh, we appreciate you. Uh, that was a gift, I believe, from the mayor. So thank you. Thank you so much.